Traveling to Ecuador, here are some things to know. Ecuador is a beautiful country with all its nature, from waterfalls to tropical forests to insects and monkeys like this one. And it's baby, which is so adorable. I got so much cute aggression, I'm getting it again. I just wanna hug it, I love it. Another thing I loved was its food. You will fall in love with soups and fruit if you're not already, because every meal is served with these two groups and it is delicious. Everything we ate was just so fresh since Ecuador seems to have every fruit imaginable in everyone's backyard. Oh, and I also got to try guinea pig. Sorry, Hamtaro, but it's common in the mountain regions of Ecuador. Our local guide said he wasn't the biggest fan of it, but I liked it. And the closest thing I could compare it to is barbacoa. Something to note though, is that you will be in a higher altitude. Be prepared to drink lots of water and to be out of breath constantly and have side effects like headaches and even nightmares, which some of my peers had on the trip. But trust me, it's worth it because you'll get to see Cotopaxi, which is one of the highest, most active volcanoes in the entire world. Although upon arriving, it was hard to see because the conditions weren't that clear because of rain. But later that day, we went on a horseback ride to the very top of a mountain and there it was in all its glory, covered in snow, Cotopaxi. And I hate to be cliche, but it was truly breathtaking. Now, I wanna go back a bit to the rain because something else to keep in mind is that trees fall in the middle of the road and take entire power lines with them because of storms. So just be prepared to find a different route to the next beautiful destination. But that shouldn't discourage you. If you're trying to go to Ecuador, go. You'll meet amazing people, explore beautiful nature, and taste delicious food. I 1010 recommend.